Good morning, everyone. Lainey here. I am getting ready to head down to Parker to the not van build, van build. So apparently a bunch of nomads that are out here in the desert southwest were disappointed that Jamie was having the van build at his new location on the east coast. I think it's somewhere in Georgia. I haven't really been keeping up with it. So they started uh, or planned a gathering for those of us who are out here in the same area where Jamie has been having the van build and where I was before. So Katie, Kate, and I are going to be heading there today. We've got a lot of stops to make in Bullhead City. I need to get a couple of things accomplished and so does Katie. And then we are going to head down to Parker. We're going to stay there who knows how long. I don't think it's an actual van build from what I've read about it. It's just kind of a gathering and a hangout for those of us who kind of miss having uh, the Jamie van build and crew. So we're just going to kind of hang out. to go to Quartzsite. We're going to then go to Yuma where I'm going to meet up with Timothy Connolly who is my nomad mechanic and dear dear friend and his lovely significant other Susan and he's going to do an oil change on the rig before I head down to um, Baja but while I'm in Yuma I'm going to get ee, the nasty tooth fixed so I'm excited about that. Um, after that, I think we're going to Slab City because Katie Kate wants to see it and I want to introduce her there. Not sure what she's going to do after that, but after that, I am going to Baja. I'm going to spend Christmas with my family and we're going to rebuild the RV. It's going to be quite a project. I will be videoing all of that. <sighs> It has been a lot of fun here at Telephone Cove. Kevin was here. He left yesterday uh, evening. He has some things that he has to go take care of. And I think he's planning on spending uh, the holidays with family. And I don't know if we'll meet back up down the road. Not sure. Um, my friend Mike, who you guys may remember from my videos in Sedona and... Um, I don't think he went with us to Cottonwood. I can't remember. Anyway, um, Mike was with us in Sedona, and he will be joining us in queue. We're supposed to have Thanksgiving with Mike, and he's an excellent cook. Oh, my God. He's such a great cook, so I'm really looking forward to that because y'all know how Lainey likes food. So that's the plan. Um, you guys have seen Parker Drive. You've seen the drive through Lake Havasu so many times. I'm not going to bore you with that, but I will, uh, I will be videoing if there's any fun stuff happening. All right. I'll see y'all on the other side. Peace. We are getting ready to leave our beautiful campsite here at Telephone Cove. I highly recommend this space. It has multiple pit toilets, dumpsters. They even have trash bags, believe it or not. Kevin went and grabbed some for us the other day, right up at the front. Uh, there's the lake, there's trees, there's mountains, Arizona's on the other side of the lake, which is kind of really the Colorado River, actually. Um, I mean, it's really great. It's really nice here. And the road is not bad. So we came in here after dark the other night, which was a little scary because I don't drive after dark for the most part, but it wasn't bad. So I highly recommend Telephone Cove to all you nomads out there, all you want to be nomads. <laughs> you can find it on freecampsites.net. It's near Bullhead City, Arizona or Laughlin, Nevada. I went to the Laughlin, Nevada side. I don't know if it's called Telephone Cove on the Arizona side. Anyway, but we're on the Nevada side. Okay, we are coming into Laughlin and Bullhead City. They're kind of twin cities. Laughlin is in Nevada, Bullhead City in Arizona. So Laughlin has weed, dispensaries, and casinos. <laughs> and this is, I'm assuming, the Colorado River. 
looks like they have a river park over here to my In 1,000 feet, use the right two lanes to turn right onto Topic Davis Dam Road. Welcome to Arizona. Ah, see, here we are, Arizona. And on the Arizona side, there is a nice little park. I am at the Discount Tire in Bullhead City. I'm getting uh, a couple of tires, so I was going to do it in Vegas, but it I needed to get out of Vegas. It was just too insane there. So here I am in Bullhead City getting it done. And the people here are super, super chill, super nice people. So anyway, lots of stops to go before we head to Parker. Hey everyone, Lainey here. So Katie and I did not make it to Parker tonight. <laughs> we have had more things. I don't know. I think the universe is trying to teach us a lesson and maybe it's slow down. I don't know. But I had to get tires. I was going to get them in Vegas, like I said earlier, but I got them in Bullhead City. And then she had an issue with Verizon. Imagine that. That's why I stay with T-Mobile, even though Verizon has better coverage for Nomads, T-Mobile has hella better service. And so she got stuck there. I think she's been there. I don't know. She may still be there. So um, the place where I found to get water today is actually a KOA campground across from the casino here, um, Avi Casino or something like that. Just across the river from Bullhead City, back in Laughlin. So, yeah, we're still in Nevada. <laughs> but I got my tires, and she, I'm hoping, got her sitch with Verizon worked out. Anyway, the KOA is super nice. I'll, I'll turn the camera around here in a minute. And it was only 25 plus tax for the night. And I've paid that to dump and get water in certain places. So to me, hmm, not bad. And we're going to pull out in the morning, hopefully, and go to Parker. So I think it's only like an hour and a half from here. It shouldn't be bad. Anyway, let me turn the camera around and show you the KOA. Oh, I got to tell you something first. I got here and I could not get the sewer pipe open. I mean, not at all. And I could not get my hose plugged in without it just dumping water all over the place. So I saw these guys across the street and one of them had a cowboy hat on. So I thought, hmm, maybe he's a good old boy from Texas. <laughs> so I went over there and I talked to the men and I said, um, <laughs> you know, of course, I got to put on my Texas accent. I try really hard not to use the Texas accent for the most part. But sometimes it serves me well, and it did today. And so I went over there and I said, I am so sorry to bother you gentlemen, but could y'all help a damsel in distress? <laughs> and so one is named Larry, the one in the cowboy hat, and the other is named Steve. Did I say that right? Is it Steve? Steven? I'm so bad with names, y'all. It's MS. It's MS. That's what I keep telling myself. It's MS. But anyway, nicest guys on the planet. And not only did they get my water hooked up without the leak and they fixed the problem. They said it was something to do with my attachment I had on my water hose or whatever. And then they also got my sewer pipe open or my thing to put my sewer in. And Katie's too because it was stuck like glue also. And so they got hers open too. So when she gets here, it'll be easy for her to hook up. Bonus. Two knights in shining armor for this little Texas gal, damsel in distress. <laughs> okay, let me turn the camera around and show y'all this cool park. The sun's about to go down, and wouldn't you know it, it's not even 5 o'clock yet. Oh, God, I hate when the, the time changes. Well, you know, and winter hits and the days are shorter anyway. But look how cute it is. There's some, I mean, we're in the desert, but there's a few little trees. And there's water on the other side of those trees. And obviously, that's west. The sun's going down. Some mountains over yonder. Oh, I still have my Texas accent on. Hang on. Got a shift. And then back over there behind those trees is the dog park, which is really nothing more than a fenced-in area with grass. But grass is nice because you don't get grass out in the desert very often. And there's a playground over there and um, like a pavilion with picnic tables that kind of thing. 
I mean, for 25 a night, you just can't beat it, right? Now, it may be more expensive on the weekends, but I think that, what is this, Tuesday? I don't know. I can't keep track of days. But that's the day today, so tomorrow we will head out from here to Parker. Like I said, I think it's an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Hopefully, we'll get an early enough start that we can get there and set up without any issues. All right, y'all. Have a good night. Thank you.